MMA Weekly here with Brendan Schaub, getting ready to head into UFC 128. Big uh, big fight on the line. They're always big, but uh, yeah. you got kind of a legendary fighter this time in Mirko Krokop. Yeah, this one uh, this one's a little different uh, than the rest. This one has a, a little more meaning to it for me, and um, man, it's rare you get to fight a legend. And uh, I, I grew up a huge Krokop fan, and he's really <clears throat> the the first guy that I really focus on, studied film on uh, when I started MMA, and e even when I was, uh, you know, just watching Fight and Pride, I, man, if he fought, I was tuning in, so for me, it's a big deal, and this is one of those fights you look back on your career, and it's going to be one of those check marks, like, oh man, he fought Crow Cop, and so for me, it's a big deal. Are you quite the fan that Pat Barry was heading into his fight with Crow Cop? A uh, little different of a fan. <laughs> um, the, the way I show my respect, and, you know, I was a huge fan of Gabriel Gonzaga as well, and uh, I think he's one of the best heavyweights of all time, and um, the way I show my respect is going out there and giving these guys my best. I, I think doing anything besides that or high five them or hugging them or not not going out there to finish them is a, is a disservice to them, and uh, that, that's where I'm different than a lot of guys. So that's something for after the fight. Yeah, Once you guys the, put everything in the yeah, I mean b before you know I'm, I'm cordial for sure, man. You know I'm a good guy and I have so much respect for Co Cop and as I did for Gonzaga. But when we're in there, when they're, when we're in there, um, you know it's uh, I'm pretty intense and uh, Dana White knows that and that's the reason they gave me this fight. Now a lot of people talk about uh, Crow Cop and you know his longevity in the sport, but to also talk about maybe he's nearing the end of it. Obviously, age-wise, he's got to be nearing the yeah. end at some point. Although Randy Couture might make us think different, but uh, you know his la his last few fights, Crow Cop's been talked about. Is it is it time? Is he done? Mm -hmm. You know, after every fight, I think everybody's like, was that his last fight? Yeah, he's coming off the knockout to Frank Mir. How do you assess Crow Cop and where he's at right now, and and his dangers as a fighter? You know, Crow Cop's the guy with, with as much experience and success as he's had, and, you know, <clears throat> he, he's fought the who's who of mixed martial arts, from Fedor, Wanderlei, I mean, Frank Mayer, you name it, he's fought him, and, um, man, the, the guy's an absolute icon of the sport, and, um, you know, everyone's career comes to an end, and it, it's really up to him and how his body feels, and, um, you know, I, I think his last two fights with the Pat Barry and Frank Mayer, you know, it was hard. He couldn't really show his skill set. I, I, I really think those guys did him a, a disservice by not going out there and uh, making him compete. And uh, with me, I, I think we're gonna see a different Crow Cop because, um, man, I bring in intensity and you, you're, you're forced to fight. You're forced to give me your best. So, you know, when I when I watch uh, tape on Crow Cop, it's it's the pride days and it's his early days, and um, that's why I train so hard because, man. I've never been more excited for a fight, and I've also been, never been so nervous. So um, this is going to be a good one. Is that a dual-edged sword for you, making him fight? Because then, uh, you know, maybe he hasn't ratcheted up to his best the last couple of fights. But if you take the fight to him and get him amped up, yeah, got to watch out for that high kick. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Which he hasn't shown a lot in the last it, few fights. It's there. You know, um, you know the, the day you don't respect is the, definitely the, the day you're going to get caught by left high kick from Crow Cop. So, um you know, it's definitely there. It's dangerous. Um, him being a southpaw, uh, world-class striker, you know, there, there's a lot of dangers there and a lot of risks. Uh, that being said, um, you know, I, I think he has a lot of stuff to worry about with me, too. So uh, it's going to be an interesting fight. All I can say is, uh, you know, if this thing goes to decision, we both fail. So um, I, I think we're both going in there and look for a quick finish. All right. Well, Brendan Schaub. We're looking forward to it. You versus Mirko Krokop at the UFC 128, Newark, New Jersey.